Yep, I'm gonna be recording. Yeah. I have some different resins that I wanna show you. I've actually never used these resins before, so I'm pretty excited to see how it works. I've heard a lot about them. Let's check them out. First out of the box is Illuminite RC3. The RC actually stands for rock climbing. This resin is designed to make climbing holds. It can be used for a ton of other things, including making your own model parts, which get super thin. That should show you the strength and the quality of this resin. Pretty excited to test that out. Now it has a really short pot life, which I'm not a big fan of. I like to work with my resins and I will want to know that when I mix this stuff up, this is pretty expensive, that I'm gonna be able to pour all of it into my hold and I'm not gonna end up with a hold that's half poured and coming out of the bucket still and then it's set up. So, I also got some of this, Alumalite Slow Set. The, the quality of these two in numbers is very similar. The RC3 is a little bit stronger, but the Slow Set has a much longer pot life, so it's a little bit more forgiving if you're slow at getting that into the mold. And then I also got Alumalite White Amazing Casting Resin. I like to have white holds, which I don't know why because they're super hard to clean, but I like to have white holds, so we'll use this as well. And then I also have some pigment and dyes. I'm not going to get too much into the pigment and dyes. There's a, a friend out there that's made a really good video about using Alumalite dyes in his hold, and I will link that in the description below for JD. Pretty cool video. So, let's get started our board back up here. Okay, there we go. All right, first up, let's go ahead and do the RC3. Opening up the box, we've got these little practice cups. It gives you instructions on making a mold. Do not microwave your resin. To properly stir, do not shake. The reason why you don't want to shake is because that in, that puts more air into your mixture. Okay, work time is three minutes. Demold time is five to ten minutes. That's pretty fast. And the slow set that we have here, that's going to give us seven minutes of work time. Some little baby stir sticks. That's that's cute. Thanks, Willem Light. Did say to shake the resins before you poured. Yeah, this one needs a lot of shake. You can turn over the bottles when they're clear like this and look at the bottom and see if you need to shake it up. So A, doesn't look like it needs to be shaken at all, but B, definitely does. After you cut this tip off, probably might not be a good idea to shake it upside down. Maybe do a shake like that where you're holding that cap firm. And... Okay. Wash that off. Now I typically will pour the most liquid first and add my color to that, but in this case black or the black side is the most liquid and I want to see my color. So I'm going to do part A just so I can see that color. Let's go with 150 grams. It's actually 151, 152. I'm going to take my translucent blue. Need a straight pin. Clean out that tip. Let's see what three drops gives us as far as color. Got my stirring stick here. All right, let's turn on our scale and tear it out. Now here's where our time, our clock starts. As soon as this goes in there, we want to go 152. This is really runny stuff. All right, there we go. Now this is super, super runny. I mean, this is this is like water consistency. So being able to mix it up fast, I think, is going to be correct. It's starting to get hot right now. So let's get this stuff in here. I want to. We're just going to pour. Here. Climbing drink. 
That was a fairly easy pour, so that I'm, I'm happy about that. Ooh, it's changing. Yeah, wow, that is fast. Okay, so I'm completely out of the RC3 here. So you know that a 16 ounce kit like this, or it's actually a 32 ounce kit, because you have two bottles, makes you about four climbing holes. So that hopefully will let you know how expensive it really is to make these holds yourself. It is pretty spendy. Unless you're able to get uh, this resin in about five gallon buckets at a time, don't make these type of holds just to save money. Make it because you want to try it. You want to do the art of creating holds. Okay, got that shaken up. Let's take the seals off. There's 200 grams. Let's tear that off. And with this one, I wanna stir it without the color. I'm gonna to try to do a tie-dye pattern. Put a drop on that side. A stir stick with orange. Put a drop on this side. Just kind of introduce it into the resin. We'll see how it works. It's getting really hot right now, so I know I need to pour it fast. It's nice and clear, so you can actually see the tie dye effect going into the hold. Very little orange in it. Lots of blue. Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna mix up some other. That's turning white already. Man, this stuff sets fast. Now we're gonna check out the slow set. I wanted to try the slow set because it's a little bit more forgiving when you have more time. They did not recommend I use slow set because you wanna be able to pull that hold out of the mold quickly so it doesn't sit there with heat but honestly they just it doesn't matter how fast it sets I set it in there and I let it sit in the mold longer than really I probably should but I want more work time before we open up these bottles I'm going to turn them upside down and see if there's any gunk sitting on the bottom to see if it needs to be shaken both of them are very clean so it looks good um, it says to mix it by weight or volume. Work time is seven minutes. Demold in 30 to 60 seconds. So we'll go ahead and start. Okay, I really don't want you guys underneath my feet like you are right now, just in case some splashes happen. I don't want this stuff getting on you. Let's turn our scale on. Tear the cup. Do you pour all of it? No, I'm going to do 100 and... 50 grams. Actually, I think I might do 200 grams. All right, there's 200 grams. The flow orange in my last pour actually didn't work out too well, so I'm going to add a lot more orange. It's typical for orange. Oh, it's two grams. So I'm mixing in this other side, and of course, it's looking super dark now. We'll see how it turns out with the color. It's not getting hot. So this is good. This is the slow set, so maybe we will have some extra time to be nice and thorough. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this stir stick out. Once it starts going warm, you got to get it in the mold fast. Wait, this is mold? It's a mold. It's called a mold. It's not like the mold that, like you, mold that's, that would grass. be in your food, yeah. It's to oh. help form the climbing hold. Now let's get another mixing cup. The reason why we're using different mixing cups in between these colors is because we don't want to contaminate the cup with, with a resin that's already setting off and that'll shorten our time too much. So, 
translucent ocean blue. Why are you doing it three different colors, Daddy? Because I think it'll look cool. Yes. So we'll give it uh, about an hour, come back, and pop these babies out. And then we'll look at all of the holes that we've poured today. Mm. An hour. An hour. An hour. It's a good time to clean everything up, isn't it? Kind of. So all three of these resins were surprisingly easy to work with, and I really liked them. The thickness of them and how well they poured was great. Now the slow set was nicer, and it gave you a little bit more time to work with if you wanted to degas it. Or if you're mixing a bigger volume, I would do that. However, with the RC3 and the Amazing White, if you're staying about 200 grams of each side of mixture, it seems like it has a quick turnaround and none of it got away from me. I didn't waste any material. Out of the RC3 and the Amazing White, I did notice that their colors were a lot more vivid and easier to produce with the Amazing White. Here's a couple of holds right here. With the blue on the top, I used this same dye and about the same amount. I was just counting the drops. So there's three drops in each of these sides with about 150 grams of resin. And it's very clear that the Amazing White was able to bring out that color much more vividly. So if that's a big deal for you, then keep that in mind. However, the RC3 seems to be a little bit cheaper with most sites, so honestly, I think I'm going to recommend the RC3. It has a little bit better numbers as far as strength goes, uh, which means that it will most likely last longer and less likely to break on you. But man, you cannot, uh, you cannot deny that the Amazing White has a better appeal to it. It looks better. So if I could find the Amazing White at the same price as the RC3, I'd probably go with the Amazing White. So I hope that you found this video helpful to you. If you have, give me the thumbs up. Also, please share it with your friends so we can get this channel out and going to more people that may be able to use some of this information that I'm putting out. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time right here on Clamber Dad.